molars also this exercise is very much important i am repeating this exercise is very important do this exercise attentively now trigonometric identities as we know that sin theta and cos theta are best friend sin theta and cos theta are best friend as we have observed from table sin theta and cos theta's values are vice versa value of sin 0 is equal to cos 90 value of cos 0 is equal to sin 90 we know that sin 90 minus theta is equal to cos theta cos 90 minus theta is equal to sin theta now in identities how they can live without each other they will come side by side we saath saath aayenge now our in our first identity sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 now these are best friends they are coming together sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 or when sin and cos theta is given and 1 is given 1 is there then we can substitute 1 as sin square theta plus cos square theta now we can find the values of these trigonometric functions in another trigonometric function how from here sin square theta is equal to 1 minus cos square theta when we bring this plus cos square theta on right hand side it will become minus cos square theta and from here sin theta will equal to square root of 1 minus cos square theta so when we have to write sin theta in the form of cos theta then it can be written as sin theta is equal to square root of 1 minus cos square theta now similarly cos theta can also be written in the form of sin theta come to our identity when we want to find the value of cos square theta cos square theta will equal to 1 this plus sin square theta will become minus sin square theta and cos theta is equal to square root of 1 minus sin square theta means cos theta and sin theta can be represented in the form of each other when we want to write sin theta in the form of cos theta then it will equal to square root of 1 minus cos square theta and when we want to write cos theta in the form of sin theta it will equal to square root of 1 minus sin square theta now second formula come to a b c d alphabets a b c d you all know, know very well we know that s and t comes together s and t comes together now here also s and t will come together secant square theta minus tangent square theta is equal to 1 secant square theta minus in this identity plus sign is there this is the only identity where plus sign is come in second formula secant square theta minus tangent square theta yes dear students in alphabets which in ABCD which alphabet comes first S comes first S pehle aata hai T se then here also secant square theta minus tangent square theta is equal to 1 now from here secant square theta will equal to 1 plus tangent square theta now if you want to find the value of secant theta this secant theta will equal to square root of 1 plus tangent square theta now dear students similarly we can we can find the value of tangent theta in form of 
secant theta. How? If we want to find the value of tangent square theta, we can shift this tangent square theta this side. Then this tangent square theta will equal to secant square theta. This plus 1 will become minus 1. Theta is equal to square root of secant square theta minus 1. This is the value of tangent theta. Now dear students, one more identity is there. There are six trigonometric functions that is sin theta, cos theta, tangent theta, reciprocal of cos is secant theta. Now, cosecant theta and cot theta. These two are left. Now, there is one more identity of these two trigonometric functions. Cosecant theta and cot theta. Cosecant theta and cot theta. Now, tell dear students which spelling is larger. Cosecant theta or cot theta. Aapne batana kon si spelling badi hai. Yes, of course, cosecant theta. So, from here, our third identity comes cosecant square theta minus cot square theta is equal to 1. But is spelling with it? Chote spelling with subtract karna hai. Yaha, jo alphabet pehle a raha hai, uske square with it, baad mein aane wale alphabet ko, ke square ko subtract karna hai. Here, cosecant square theta minus cot square theta is equal to 1. Cosecant square theta is equal to 1. This minus cot square theta will become plus cot square theta. And cosecant theta is equal to square root of 1 plus cot square theta. Now, if you want to find the value of cot square theta, this cot square theta is equal to cosecant square theta plus minus 1. This plus 1 will become minus 1. And cot theta is equal to square root of cosecant square theta minus 1. Yes dear students. Now there are only 3 identities. And from these 3 identities we have de derived so much formulas. I am repeating these identities. Sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. This is the only identity where sin of plus is coming. As we know that sin theta and cos theta are best friends. So they come together. So sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. Then sin square theta will equal to 1 minus cos square theta. And sin theta will equal to square root of 1 minus cos square theta. And from this identity cos square theta is equal to 1 minus sin square theta or cos theta is equal to square root of 1 minus sin square theta. Now, second identity, secant square theta minus tangent square theta is equal to 1. As we know, in ABCD alphabets, S comes first, then secant square theta minus tangent square theta is equal to 1. These are for your identification only. How you can learn these formulas? Secant square theta is equal to 1 plus tangent square theta. And secant theta will equal to square root of 1 plus tangent square theta. Now, tangent square theta. We will shift this tangent square theta this side. And this plus 1 this side. Means tangent square theta is equal to secant square theta minus 1. And tangent theta is equal to square root of Square, secant square theta minus 1. Now, our last identity, cosecant square theta minus cot square theta is equal to 1. As we know, spelling of cosec is greater than spelling of cot. So, but I will chote ko subtract karenge means cosecant square theta minus cot square theta is equal to 1. From here, cosecant square theta is equal to 1 plus cot square theta 
cosecant theta is equal to square root of 1 plus cot square theta. Now, cot square theta, cot square theta is equal to cosecant square theta minus 1 and cot theta is equal to square root of cosecant square theta minus 1. These are the trigonometric identities and we can find the value of one trigonometric function in the form of another trigonometric function using these identities.